Okay, so now we go to the bonding phase. And we see this in movies all the time, where two hero or a hero and an ally who have been at odds, you know, they've been everything about them rubs each other the wrong way. Now all of a sudden they start to bond, they start coming together, they start working somewhat together. There's hope being built that they can accomplish whatever it is that they need to accomplish. That's the bonding moment, but again, that's the what, the why of the bonding moment comes from Genesis 1, 11, which says, yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself. God created this dry land, the barren land, which we saw in the previous the, um, example of the um, point of no return. It's the barren land. There's no fruit on it. There's no way to go forward. There's only, or there's no way to go backward. There's only forward. And, and then we have fruit now on this barren land that's showing itself. And what is that fruit? It is the hero who's now laid down his false identity is now becoming who he was meant to be, and that is replacing the false hope that the born identity had in the false identity with a real hope in who the hero truly is. Because there's real power in who the hero truly is. There's no power in the false identity. The false identity is all show. It doesn't matter how good the show is. It's still show. It, it's all form and without substance. But now the hero's stepping into who they really are and so there's a bonding that can take place. There's a security that's real for the born identity. And the born identity now begins to feel like maybe there is a way to overcome the villain of the story. Maybe there is an over, a way to overcome the fear that repressed it. And so that is what the bonding is all about. It's not just about, um, you know, let's get two people together and let's have a love interest. That is what will result, but the, it results from purpose. The purpose is that the hero must begin to step into who he is or who she is, who they truly are, and in so doing, they are encouraging their own soul. They're encouraging their own heart, which is what the born identity represents. They're giving hope to their motivation. Again, it's the hero represents the action, but the born identity represents what motivates that action, the heart behind it. So if the heart is sick, even if the hero is moving in the right direction towards born identity, it's still just a behavior change. It is not a true transformation. Unless the heart gets into it, it's not a, a, a true transformation. So bonding is not a true transformation. It is the beginning of it, though. It is the beginning. It's, it's blooming hope. And that's what uh, is needed right now. <clears throat> okay, and we... Um, we see the bonding in Knights and Dragons when the hero now is faced with the fact that the princess does not want to go with him, does not want to uh, leave the security of the slave owners. <clears throat> the hero has to set her free heroically. He's got to fight the slave owners. He's got to show what he's made of. Up till now, we haven't seen this. We might have seen a glimpse of it. Maybe he threw a spear and hit a, hit a fish or something while he was, you know, something simple that tells us this kid's more than a farmer, but right now we're going to see all that he is. He's going to pull out his old knight sword and dust it off, and he's going to dust off the slave owners as well and set her free. Now, she does, still doesn't want to go with him. He's probably going to have to throw her over his shoulder, but she's going because he is the hero of this, of this moment. This is what the bonding is all about. They go into the mountains. He, he, they survive on his cunning wits and on his courage. It's a, there's a bonding that takes place. The love between them begins to blossom. All of those things happen because the hero is laying down his false identity and he's beginning to move now in who he is. We see this in Avatar as Sully is learning the ways of the Navi, Navi from Neytiri. She is this, this whole bonding sequence where she's teaching him all their ways, and it's comical because he doesn't know, but <clears throat> the idea is that he is trying to become what he's meant to be, and that's encouraging her, creates bonding between the two of them. Undo.